Good morning and welcome. Before we begin, I'd like to remind everyone we need to maintain physical distancing and mask wearing at all times today. And also, if you haven't yet done so, if you could please silence your cell phones. We'd greatly appreciate it. And now we'd like to ask you to rise, please, for our Oli Aloha performed by Nalani Badua. You may all be seated. Please direct your attention to the right for the processional of our students.
Good morning. My name is Miles Yamamoto, uh, one of the advisors for the class of 2021. Uh, this class has persevered through a very trying year. Uh, the usual academic challenges were made all the more difficult as they navigated the uncertainties during the pandemic. It has been my distinct pleasure to have been with this resilient group throughout their journey at Assets High School. Uh, Mrs. Hamai Sakai, Mr. Mesa, the Board of Trustees, family and friends, I and the other senior advisors proudly present the class of 2021. You may sit. Hi, everybody. Oh, I dropped my note cards. It's good to see you. We're so happy we could be here together. I think most folks know me. If not, my name is Ryan Mace. I'm the head of school here at Assets. And it is really my pleasure to welcome you to the class of 2021's high school graduation. And I want to start by thanking some folks um, for whom this could not be possible without. First, Commitment of Schools, uh, you know, I cannot tell you how hard it was to find a venue that fit what we needed it to be, um, that fit what the city and county needed it to be, and then finding a venue that would actually allow us to be there. And Kamehameha has been such a good friend to us over many, many years. And so to have them help us, and particularly in this space, we really want to mahalo them. I want to thank our board of trustees. Uh, we have joining us today Simon Tracy and Susie Hollinger. Um, everybody knows that great schools are, are start with great boards. And this year, we made a big deal out of celebrating 65 years. And, um, you know, that was such a time for reflection. And the, and the reality is school will never be around for 65 years if we haven't had great leadership um, at our trustee level. So Susie and Simon, on behalf of the rest of the board, thank you so much for what you do for us. I want to thank our teachers and faculty and staff. If you could stand and be recognized. If you are an assets faculty or staff, please stand and be recognized. I think you know we have the best faculty and staff. We, there's no way we could do this without you. Kids are here because of the support they've gotten from faculty and staff. I want to thank the senior advisors. I want to thank everybody working. I want to thank the teachers who are watching on the live stream, you know, who couldn't make it here today. And then specifically, Lindsay Arcan and Jason Wagner, who were the graduation coordinators who, you know, worked so hard to find us a venue and then make sure it was the experience that we all thought the kids deserved. So Lindsay and Jason, thank you so much. I, I do want to give a specific shout out to the, everybody watching on the live stream. You know, we're sorry that everybody can't be here today. We know we have parents and coaches and aunties and uncles and grandparents all over the world uh, watching today to, to celebrate you and to watch you graduate. And so we want to acknowledge you and welcome you into this space. And we see you and um, thank you for being here. So I think that's the last of my, my welcomes and hellos. And so, you know, it was funny thinking about what to, to say as a speech, because there's so many things I, I want to say. Um, and we're starting to jot down some notes. We good? All right. We wanted to jot down some notes. And then I was remembering of a proverb that, that talks about how, you know, you shouldn't confuse your want to speak with people's readiness to listen. And it's such an exciting day. It's hard to sit through lots of speeches. And I know that Nikki and Chloe and Jupiter have speeches for students that are going to be fabulous. So I want to talk a little bit about parents. And I think, you know, graduation is so fun because obviously we're celebrating students. But this day is so much for you as well. And, you know, you, when, when you come to assets, I think there are two things that we, we try to share with you when we first meet. And then we reiterate over time. One is that when a child learns differently, the whole family goes on that journey. Whether you want to or not, you are on that journey. And so to be at this place is really a testament to you as well and a celebration of, of the job that you've done. And the second thing that we try to remind folks of is that you are running a marathon, uh, not a sprint. And it feels like a sprint sometimes, but it really is a marathon. And so You've hit a really important milestone today with kids graduating. Um, it's not over. I'm sure you know that and feel that. 
Uh, I was sitting where these kids were 20 years ago, and last week my mom texted me late at night, and I got worried. I figured, you know, what, why are you texting me at midnight? And the text said, did you finish your taxes? And so, you know, this never ends. Um, I had, I was happy to say that I had, but, you know, it's that idea that you will always love them and worry about them and, and support them and make sure that they are where they're supposed to be. So I was thinking a little bit about um, what I wanted to share with parents. And there's this great book called The Gardener and the Carpenter, if you've ever read it. It's by Alison Gopnik, and she's a professor of psychology and philosophy. And in the, it's not a how-to book about parenting, but it's about the relationship that parents have with their kids. And she opens it by talking about the purpose of love and talks about how the purpose of love is not to change the people we love, but to give them what they need to thrive. The purpose of love is not to shape our loved one's destiny, but to help them shape their own. The purpose of love isn't to show them the way, but to help them find a path for themselves, even if the path they take isn't the one we choose ourselves, or even the one we would choose for them. And that's because loving a child doesn't give them a destination. It gives them sustenance for their journey. And so, again, today is, of course, about these graduates, but it's also about you. And I want to mahalo you for partnering with us these many years in your child's education. And I'm sure that Nikki and everybody else will talk about, even though kids are graduating, that this is always a home for them and a community. And I want to say the same thing to you. You know, we are always there for you as you're helping your kid on their journey through adulthood. Um, and we really value this partnership with you. So if we could have parents stand up and be recognized, I would very much like to mahalo you. Absolutely. Thank you, Allison. Got to rally, rally that up. So, graduates, I'm going to keep it brief. Like I said, Jupiter and Chloe and Mrs. Hamaisakai have this covered. But you just heard me say to parents that, you know, loving you is about helping you with what you need for your journey. So I just want to be really clear on what I mean by your journey. It's, for me, it's not about college and career. You guys are going to be fine with that. You've got teachers that have helped you with that, parents that have helped you with that. But the journey that I'm talking about and what I think the purpose of this school is, is to really help you continue to grow into your best true self. And that's, that's way more than college and career. And it's not just that I want it for you so that you can be fulfilled. It's also because when you're your best true self, you will find yourself, I think, becoming a better friend, a better spouse and partner, and all the other things that you want to do. And there'll be people that want to be a chef, People want to be teachers, uh, physical therapists, yoga instructors, all these different ways to help the world, and that's great. And so what I wish for you is to continue to find how you can grow into your best true self, the person that you are meant to be and the person that you want to be. So I'm very proud of you. We're all very proud of you. Congratulations. And I'm going to turn it over to Ms. Hamaisakai. Thank you, Mr. Mesa. And on behalf of the class of 2021 and the high school faculty and staff, we'd also like to thank you for your leadership, as well as Ms. Sandy Dadaki, our assistant head of school and our director of admissions. Thank you to you both. I also want to acknowledge the gift of the space we are in. We are celebrating Asset Schools class of 2021 at the Kaiva Kilomoku Hawaiian Cultural Center at Kamehameha School's Kapalama campus. The name Kaiva Kilomoku means the Eva bird that hooks the islands together and refers to the efforts of Kamehameha Ekahi to unify the Hawaiian islands. The name of this space speaks of connections, hooking together communities and networks. It is an honor to have a connection with Kamehameha Schools, our Aokahi Kamuluvai partner, as well as all of you here today and those joining us virtually. Class of 2021, cherish your connections and networks because they make you stronger. 
In the hallway to my right, named after Myron Pinky Thompson, the visionary behind the center, the floor is emblazoned with the Hawaiian star compass, developed by Hokulea master navigator and Myron's son, Nainoa Thompson. The Hawaiian star compass reflects the basic mental construct for non-instrument navigation, or what's also known as wayfinding. Many of us can orient ourselves on a small scale, then travel from place to place, though I will confess I rely heavily on GPS, so thank goodness for technology. But unlike me, skilled voyagers, such as ancient Polynesians and the crews of the Hokulea, are able to find their way across the vast expanse of the Pacific Ocean, navigating by the path of the stars, the sun, the direction of the winds, and other natural cues. Master navigators know the, that islands block waves and ocean swells, so they observe and they feel subtle changes in wave patterns and also notice the presence of seabirds and cloud clusters that tend to indicate land. By observing these cues, master navigators can locate islands that are not visible. They also memorize the rising and setting positions of hundreds of stars, what Nainoa organized into star houses in the Hawaiian star compass. Knowing which star houses are rising and setting at the horizon allows navigators to chart their courses and find their way. I find it both inspirational and symbolic that we are gathered in a place that celebrates navigation and voyaging. Class of 2021, you have traveled far as learners and individuals. Think back to when you first began your education. School probably seemed so vast then, right? 13 years rolling into the distance, all of that future ahead of you. I bet you couldn't even see senior year on the horizon, though I'm sure you envisioned it. When you fir first set sail as a student, you moved with the current, and sometimes the waves were rough. You may have even veered off course. But to get here, you had to orient yourself understand who you are as learners. You needed to build your skills and find your direction. You needed to chart a course using the strategies, tools, and accommodations that enable you to navigate your learning successfully. Impressively, you found your way across vast expanses of learning to this moment, your high school graduation and you made the last leg of the voyage with an incredible crew. Look out here at all the people surrounding you, and especially the fellow members of your class. After today, your voyage continues, though you'll each be traveling in different directions. Each of you has charted a course to a new destination, and each of you has the skills, strength, resilience, and determination to navigate there. You are ready. Believe in yourself. Be disciplined and courageous. Adjust your sails when the winds change direction. When you can't see the horizon, let your internal compass guide you. Use the appropriate tools and strategies to help you. And remember that you have a crew who are with you all the way. Congratulations, class of 2021. We are immensely proud of you and hope you are proud of yourselves too. At this time, I'd like to recognize the recipients of scholarships awarded by former parents, Faye and Dexter Marr, and our beloved former faculty member, Len Black. Award recipients, please stand to be recognized when I call your name. You'll be presented with your commemorative awards when you receive your diplomas. The Radiant Star Scholarship is a $5,000 award given to a college-bound graduating senior from Asset School in memory of Zachary Fujisaki Marr, class of 2008, who, during his too short time in this life, reached out to touch others with his gifts. The award honors the senior who best shares Zach's quiet determination positive attitude when facing adversity, enduring courage, and passionate heart. On behalf of Zach's parents, Dexter and Faye Marr, 
It's my pleasure to welcome this year's radiant star to the constellation. Congratulations, Jupiter Silva. Thank you, Jupiter. The Len Black Resiliency Scholarship is a $1,000 award given to a graduating senior from Asset School. The scholarship recognizes a senior who demonstrates a strong capacity to recover quickly and learn from difficulties in life. They must be self-aware and self-accepting, be able to leverage their strengths to overcome life's challenges, and have tremendous patience working through trauma or crisis while never losing hope or giving up on themselves. The 2021 Len Black Resiliency Scholarship recipient is Seth Leong. Congratulations, Seth. Barrett McCandless is credited with founding the modern mission of our school. Her keen understanding of the needs of gifted children and children with dyslexia are evident in the daily life of Asset's teachers and students. We are grateful to Barrett McCandless for her gifts of vision, intellect, and energy, as well as her love for children who struggle to achieve in school. To honor Barrett's life and work, we have established an academic prize to a graduating senior who has distinguished themselves at assets and who personifies the qualities Barrett admired. Perseverance, commitment to one's goals, and of course, achievement. The 2021 Barrett McCandless Award winner is Dominic Zarella. Congratulations, Dominic. You may be seated. Former head of school, Lou Salza, used the metaphor of the Honu, or Hawaiian sea turtle, to represent the terrific struggles of our children as they made their way through school. Once the, hono is under, once the ocean is underfoot, once the environment is changed, the Honu becomes a confident and competent adult. The Lou Salza Honu Award recognizes that individual who has their toe in the water, ready to swim. This individual shares with Lou a life inspired by heart and guided by knowledge, an advocate who embodies the spirit of assets. The 2021 Lou Salza Honu Award winner is Jaden Yoshii. <laughs> Congratulations, Jaden. You may be seated. Next, we have two academic honors to recognize salutatorian and valedictorian. The salutatorian is recognized for high academic achievement as well as character and behavior. Distinguished guests, I present the salutatorian for the class of 2021, Jupiter Silva. Good afternoon, fellow graduates, families, teachers, and um, administrators. Welcome to Assets High School 2021 graduation. We did it. My name is Jupiter Silva, and I am honored to have received the sal Salutatorian Award. Throughout my years at Assets, I've learned how to not only advocate, but to find a purpose and drive to want to learn. Learning was difficult for me, and I just needed that boost from teachers to work through my learning differences in order to achieve understanding. With the support, I was able to acknowledge what they were teaching me. That feeling of accomplishment and knowing that I am smart and that I can do it motivated me to want to learn. I know learning was not only a challenge for me, myself, it was hard for most students at Assets. So on behalf of the whole class of 2021, I want to thank my families, my families and parents for being so patient and supportive, especially my parents for supporting me throughout my years of assets, giving me the chance to learn the way that works best for me. They will always be people I look, look up to in life that always try to give me the best. I hope you know that I'm glad to call you my parents, the people that guided me through life put, and put me on the right path to greatness. I love you guys. I also want to thank the administration, staff, and teachers for guiding us through the past, to these past years. 
and the head of school, Ryan Mesa, and Principal Ms. Hamai Sakai for their hard work and dedication to leading us. Finally, I would like to thank the entire class of 2021 for pushing through those rough patches of this year. Having to tr transition to distance learning and follow certain measures was tough. Even with all of those challenges, we kept the determination and willingness to learn, stayed on top of assignments, and created unforgettable memories together. Congratulations. Thank you, Jupiter. The title of valedictorian is conferred upon the student who attains the highest level of academic achievement, contributes positively to the community, and demonstrates an exemplary character. Distinguished guests, I present the valedictorian for the class of 2021, Chloe Kurashima. Okay, uh, hello parents, guardians, faculty, staff, and my fellow classmates. I'd, lo I'd like to start off by congratulating the class of 2021 for almost graduating. Getting to this point hasn't been easy, but being here shows your resilience. Even in the face of adversity, uh, we were able to overcome our challenges and come together as a community. This year, COVID robbed us of many experiences, from ice palace to senior camp. Our senior year wasn't exactly ideal. Starting off in distance learning was a struggle for many of us. Just giving up would have been easier than trying to do all the online learning. But you kept coming to class, even though it was difficult. You kept going. Standing here today, remember, whatever hardships you faced, you overcame them. When I started to ask about what this speech needed to be about, I was told it was supposed to be inspirational. What did that mean? Who knows, but <laughs> I will try. A very wise and bearded man named Mr. Jason Wagner uh, <laughs> sent me an email. Uh, in that email, he talked about how life is difficult and will constantly push you to your limits, much like how you stretch a rubber band. But much like a rubber band, uh, it's important to snap back. Life is hard, but it doesn't matter, uh, but it doesn't matter who you are, uh, but being able to pick yourself up after failure is a necessary part of life. Uh, before I end, I'd like to thank some people in my life that have helped me to get where I am. I'd like to thank my parents for sending me to assets and supporting me uh, I know it can be difficult sometimes, but I do appreciate all you've done for me. I'd also like to thank my sister. Uh, we haven't always gotten along, but I wish you luck in high school. Uh, and to my friends, uh, who always made me feel included and accepted, I thank you. And to all the teachers at Assets School, because without you, Assets wouldn't be the place it is today. And I'd also like to give a special thanks to Mr. Hahn for all he did for me and for robotics. Uh, the program would be nothing without you, and I look forward to working with you next year. And to you, the class of 2021, thank you for making high school an interesting experience. And once again, I congratulate you all for being here today. For whatever plans you have for the future, I wish you all luck. Thank you. Thank you, Chloe. And now for the moment I know students and perhaps all of us have been eagerly awaiting. Mr. Mesa, esteemed members of the Board of Trustees, I present the class of 2021 to you to receive their high school diplomas. <laughs> students, when I call your name, please come forward to receive your diploma. Guests. When I announce your student's name, you're welcome to step forward to take photos in the designated area. So the X on the right.
Okay, here we go, class of 2021. Danae Rose Moranval Vincent. Julian Ripley Shea. <laughs> Micah Kenichi Murakami. Jaden S. Yoshii. Aiden Ho'apili Kazutaka Lee. Lani Elizabeth Jenkins. Sydney Lee Sarandi. <laughs> Noah Shokichi Butak Amuro. Gabriel Santino Lawson. Jupiter K. Silva. Our award winners are going to have to balance a lot. <laughs> Chloe May Kurashima.
Lemoni K. Aveal Teoganto. Darian K. Abeal Tiogunko. Noah Guang Yip Tyler. Cameron Cave Kaimi Loa Holt. Liam Jun Fukuyama. Devlin Jerry Williams. <laughs> Tyler Elliott Lee. Tate Kiichi Makana Arakaki. Albert Tomaikai Fraticelli. Ian Masato Sagawa. <laughs> Reno Lopaka Henriquez Jr.
Seth James K. Paikai. Remington Ezekiel Bull. Anna Watson. Seth Thomas Leon. Dawson Lao Ai Pit Hui Jones. Aiden Joseph Kamana Aloha, Yuen Kadina. Dominic Joseph Zarella. Andrew Charles Benedict. Lani Glorioso. <laughs> Alexander Coy Waller.
We'd also like to recognize two students who are joining us virtually, William McConnell Case and Albert Daniel Lum Yi. <laughs> Will and Albert, we'll cook, we will keep your diplomas safe until we can present them to you. And now Mr. Miles Yamamoto will direct the class of 2021 in the turning of their tassels to signify the earning of their diplomas. Third row, please rise. Second row, please rise. And first row, please rise. It is my honor to congratulate our newest alumni, the graduates of the class of 2021. We will begin the recessionals shortly. Guests, please remain seated to ensure everyone can view the recessional. Graduates will be exiting to the back corners of the lawn, alternating sides. Whoops, either side. Guests, when your graduate leaves their seat, please join them on the black, back lawn for a quick photo and to help them receive their lay and gifts. As a group, you'll then exit down the stairs nearest you. There's one set of stairs there and the other where you entered. Uh, we also ask that you maintain your distance from others as you're exiting. Please proceed directly to your vehicles and continue your celebration off campus. <laughs> Please also drive safely and respectfully. And thank you all once again for joining us. Big thank you, class of 2021. We love you and we miss you.
as a reminder, as you see your graduate walking towards one of the back areas, please stand up and join them. Thank you.